Hello, my friends. Good evening. Buenas noches. Um, let's see hello. how are you doing. Uh, Susie, hello. Hi, good evening. I, I can see that you are not wearing your uniform. Are, no, you planning, are, you, <laughs> are you planning to go outside? Are you planning to go to a, to a disco? I go a to park? my bed. <laughs> ah, okay. That, that's your day. That's a to sit. Okay. So you have a date with uh, your bed. Tienes una cita con tu cama. Okay. Es muy romántica. <laughs> yeah, but I can see that you're wearing makeup. Veo que estás maquillada y todo. So, mm, I don't know. It, it, is, uh, it is like mm, suspicious. Es sospechoso. Pero dale, disfruta. Of course, have fun. Okay, Carla, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Mm, how are you tonight? Good. You're good, okay. Uh, well, that, that's fine. And I can see that you're wearing a Superman t-shirt, right? Yes. Yes, okay, that's nice. I had one like that. Tenía una como esa, but in the past. The past, past, okay. Yo tengo tres. You have three. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, you really like those t-shirts. Okay, pues es que te gustan bastante esas camisas. Dora, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? ¿Cómo vas? ¿Cómo estás? I'm fine. You're fine, okay. And uh, what time do you usually finish your job? ¿Qué hora terminas de trabajar? Five. At five. Okay. At okay, you, you finish at five. Okay, that, that's nice. And we... Well, who else? Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Did you send me a message I'm... because I didn't check? No yes. worries. No worries. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Um, I was... Que chiva la camisa que anda Marlon. Yes. It has different... It's ACDC. All different logos from ACDC. Yes. 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 I, I can see. I like that one that is the Hell, hell Bells, right? Uh, no, that, it's a campana. Yeah, this, hell. This, yes, yes. Okay, yes. As well. As. And what about, did you buy it or it's a present? Es un regalo. La no, 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 I bought. I you bought. bought it. Okay. Yes. Wow. After, about um, about um, eight years ago, I think, or eight. seven years ago. Okay, eight, yes. Yeah. It ha, that that um that shirt has history, right? Yes. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> yes. Okay. And nice. I think uh, maybe most of all, the Meretos, uh, we have like a lucky t-shirt. Tenemos como una camisa de la suerte. Sometimes, yes. sometimes. Oh, I, some... I have, I have, uh, I have a jacket. Ah, jacket. A lucky, lucky jacket. Ah, a lucky, lucky jacket. jacket. Really. Okay. Yes. So when Yo you usaba, wear it, usaba, usaba. Cuando la usa, oh, when yeah, you used no to la... wear it, cuando usaba, cuando solías when, usarla. When I used to wear, wear... wear it, everything good, todo bien. Se encontraba pisto en la calle, okay. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Hello, Carmen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine. You're fine, okay. I like to hear that. Me alegra escuchar eso. Well, um, mm -hmm. and we're going to, well, who else? Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Good? All right. All right, okay, that's fine. And Andreita, hello, que seriedad, mujer. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Great. Great, are you great? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. That's, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, who else? We have uh, also Claudia, the mysterious girl, the chica misteriosa. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? Good? I great. You're great. Juevesito, jueves, viernes. Hmm. So, look, <laughs> Susie, Susie knows it. Susie lo sabe. Yes, I know. 
Se ve muy sospechoso. Ok. Um, hello. Lo que pasa es que no sabe que tuve una cita antes de la clase. Ah, no me dejé okay. para después, sino que para antes. Ok. okay. <risa> How was your date? ¿Cómo estuvo? ¿No? Excelente, excelente. Es que te veo demasiado sonriente. So, mm, ok, that, that's fine. Y me gusta porque todo La se Susi ríe. se está preparando para mañana la foto. Ah, really? Dice que así, así va a estar hasta mañana. Así va. Estoy practicando porque nunca me maquillo. No te creo. I don't believe you. No te creo para nada. Ok. But if you had a date, si tuviste una cita, good, good. There is, well, there is uh, always good opportunities to have good dates and bad dates. A veces tenemos malas citas. Yes, you know. The person who never see again, ya no vuelve a ver esa persona. Okay? Okay, so that, that's, well, that's interesting. Jose Miguel, hello, my friend. Finally at home, right? Finally at home. Yes. Okay, yes, I know that you have to drive most of the classes yes it is difficult uh, because of the schedule and now are you having vacations no eh, en realidad eh, hoy viene temprano oh okay okay that, that's good that's good so you can say actually actually i came home early okay that's okay. good uh, we have nancy la mujer desaparecida uh, nancy muéstrate entre nosotros <laughs> Ok, good evening. Está llorando. Don't cry. No. ¿Te fue mal en la cita? ¿Cómo va a ser? No, no tuve cita. Ah, yesterday. Mm. Got, mm. Ok. Ya que la risa se delata. delata. Okay. Nancy, Nancy se deprimió porque como le cancelaron el, el, el carnaval. Ah, no so sorry. Ella. No, se fue, se fue de parranda. Se fue de gira artística. Ok, pero pensaba irse los, hasta el fin de semana, hasta el domingo. Ok. No, well, teacher, anduve ahí en San Salvador desde ayer, ando allá. Anduve. Ok, eso no abona mucho a tu versión de la historia. Eso abona a, la, a mi versión sobre ti. Ok. Ok, Nancy. No, I hope you have had a, a, an amazing date. Una cita increíble. Ok. Yes, you deserve it. Lo, lo, lo mereces. Okay, so that's nice. That's nice. Okay, um, we have Diana that she's so mysterious. Está de misteriosa, Diana. No sé. Creo que está preparando una sorpresa. Hello. Está preparando un punto artístico. No. No, terminando la tarea. Mm, okay. No, I know that I send you like a little bit late. Quiere, creo que sí, la mandé un poquito tarde, pero no como a la de ayer. Okay, ayer sí me pasé. I know. I know. But because you are very intelligent. You are able to do it. Son capaces de hacerlo demasiado. Hasta muy poco le pido. Demasiado. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, we're going to start here. And volvemos a mi formato anterior de diapositiva. Yo sé que extrañaban este formato. Okay. So este formato es divertido. But uh, tomorrow we're going to have the, the other format. So vocabulary practice. We're going to, to practice a, a little bit. But first. We're having ways to introduce someone. And this is very useful when you have a new employee in your team or you have a, a new partner uh, in your enterprise. And maybe you already know him or you already know her and you have to introduce, you have to present that person to, you, to your colleagues or to your boss, okay? Entonces, eh, se utiliza para presentar a las personas, ¿ok? Introduce significa como presentar, ¿ok? So, ways to introduce someone. We have, number one, I like you to meet Carl. Carl, it's an example, of course. I want to introduce you, Carl. Have you met Carl? ¿Ok? Esto no le hagan caso. Esto lo voy a explicar. Later, later, later. ¿Ok? So, we have three forms. I like you to meet Carl. I want to introduce Carl, or have you met Carl? Pueden presentarlo como, ya conoces a Marlo. Bueno, él es una persona muy tranquila, muy trabajadora, ¿ok? So, do I want to introduce you, José Miguel. Quiero presentarte a José Miguel, ¿ok? Or I like you, I like you to meet Nancy. Quiero presentarte a Nancy. 
es una chica muy inteligente y pícara. So, I need you to have like different uh, options about this. And if you, vamos a hacer esto. I like you to meet Carl. He is an, he's a cashier. I need you to invent. Necesito que inventen algo, okay? Um, I want to introduce, I want to introduce you, Monica. She is a waitress. Okay. Have you met Nancy? Vamos a famosa Nancy. Have you met Nancy? She is, uh, I'm sorry, Nancy, what's your occupation again, please? I'm sorry. Accounting? Ah, account, uh, accountant. Accountant. Okay, you can invent, you can uh, say uh, mm, whoever, quien sea, puedes mencionar a quien sea, whoever. You can invent a name and you can invent the occupation, okay? So one by one, I'm going to ask you to say one of these, okay? But please invent another name. Use another name instead of, cuando digo instead. Instead of, esta palabra es importante. Instead of significa en vez de, en lugar de. En lugar de, en vez de, instead of, instead of. Okay, so you have to select one of these three options and you have to add, you have to say one name instead of Monica, instead of Carl, instead of Nancy. And mention um, whatever you want to say about him or about her. You can, yeah, invent a, a, an occupation, okay? Vamos a comenzar with Andrea, que la verdad misteriosa. So, Andreita, you're going to be the first one. Then we go with Susie. Teacher, es que mi internet está raro, entonces casi no le escuché lo okay. que dijo. Ok, estas son maneras para presentar a alguien. Ok, en tu trabajo puede uh -huh. ser. Entonces quiero que elijas uno. Una de estas opciones. Bueno, vamos a comenzar con Susie. Pero eliges una y en lugar de escribir car. Mónica, Nancy, eliges otro nombre, ¿ok? Y le cambias la ocupación. ¿Ya? Yep. Ok, comenzamos con Susi. Uh -huh. Ok, Susi. Ok, I want to introduce you, introduce you. Perdón, ¿cómo es eso? Introduce, introduce you. Introduce you, Leslie. She is a designer. No, yeah, perfect. That's nice. Ok, now we go with Marlon y Carmen. Uh, I'd like you to meet um, Christian. He is an architect. Nice. Carmen de Andorra. Y puedo inventarme cualquier otro nombre y cualquier otra ocupación. Cualquier, o si quieres si quiere decir otra cosa que no sea ocupación, of course, you can do it. Have to meet uh, Karen. She is a cosmetologist. Okay, nice. Dora de Claudia. I like to meet. I like, I like you to meet. I like you to meet Roberto. He is a accountant. He's an accountant. Good. Claudia de Nancy. I want to introduce you, Alex. She he is a manager. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nancy de Jose Miguel. How do you meet uh, Leslie? She is pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jose Miguel, then Andrea. Okay, Jose, are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I like you meet you to meet uh, Carla. Uh, she is a uh, Doctor. She's a doctor. Okay, nice. Okay, now we go with Andrea and then Diana. 
I'd like you to meet uh, Nicole. She's a secretary. Nice. Diana, then Leslie. Okay. I'd like you to meet Susie. She is a colleague. Okay, yes, she's a colleague. Mm -hmm. uh, Leslie, then Carla. I want to introduce uh, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Nancy, she is uh, beautiful. Okay, and we have Carla. I like you to meet Jorge. He is a doctor. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, so remember, I'd like you to meet. I want to introduce you. Introduce, introduce you. Have you met Nancy? Okay, en este caso voy a explicar un poco esto. Cuando dicen, eh, vaya, I, cuando dicen I like you, cuando dicen esto significa me gustas, ok? Eso significa, ok? Eh, entonces, pero cuando dicen eh, um, I want you, significa también te quiero. Es como un te quiero, pero no es como un I love you, ok? Pero si ustedes dicen I want you to come early, Aquí no les está diciendo que los quieren. O sea, que los quieren de querer. Les están pidiendo que quieren que vengan temprano. Ok, si su jefe les dice así, no se emocionen. Ok. Or, ok, so I want you to come. Ok. Entonces, eh, si les dice aquí, I like you to meet. I'm sorry. Estoy nervioso. Ok. Uh, me gustaría, I like you to to go to the zoo. Aquí significa, me gustaría que fueras al zoológico. ¿Ok? Esto es bien importante porque a veces nos confundimos. ¿Cómo decir, quiero que hagas algo? ¿Cómo decir, me gustaría que hicieras algo? ¿Ok? So, cualquiera de estas dos pueden ser. I want you to come early. Que es, quiero que vengas temprano. O I want you to... Uh, yeah. Oh, I want you to marry me. Quiero que te cases conmigo. Okay. Obligatoriamente. Okay. So in the other, in the second option, I'd like you to go to the zoo. I'd like you to do the report. Me gustaría que hicieras el reporte. Okay. Entonces, ojo con eso. Mm -hmm. Algún día les puede salvar la vida eso. Okay. So um, we have also the, the uh, some vocabulary, algo de vocabulario. Tenemos acá esto que es whatever. Mucha gente eh, se, se confunde. Whatever es lo que sea. Ok. Wherever es donde sea. Y whoever es quien sea. Ok. Entonces, a veces, por ejemplo, le dicen a Andrea, Andrea, where do we go? To the beach or do we go to the mountain? ¿Dónde vamos? ¿A la playa o a la montaña? Y hay gente que dice, ah, whatever. Pero whatever significa lo que sea. Ahí tienen que decir wherever. Ah, donde sea. ¿Ok? Mucha gente dice esto, ¿eh? whatever, para todo, pero la gente lo emplea mal. Uh -huh. Ahora, si les pregunta, eh, por ejemplo, Diana, What do you want for lunch? Hot dogs or hamburgers? Y para decirme cualquiera. ¿cuál Whatever. De esas? Whatever, exactly. Okay. Um, let's see. Marlon, where would you like to go? To England or Spain? <coughs> mm, wherever. Wherever, exactly. Whatever. Okay. Y si le pregunto a, um, let's see, Susie. Who do you like the most? ¿Quién te gusta más? Keanu Reeves or Henry Cavill? Whoever. Whoever. Aunque okay, yo sé a quién elegirían a algunas personas. Okay. O sea, teacher, que quizás depende de la pregunta. Si, si lo preguntan con what o where o who. Vale. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Pues. Aquí, si les preguntan. Eh, todas estas son de opciones. Cuando les preguntan opciones. Esto es, eh, esto es, puede ser cualquier. Esto es cosa. O sea, comida, eh, cine películas, lo que sea. Ahora, wherever es donde sea. Se refiere al elegir lugar. 
tiene que elegir algún lugar, en wherever. Where do you want to go? To the church or to the disco? ¿Dónde quieren ir? A la iglesia o a la disco? Obviamente vamos a ir a la iglesia. But if, if you want, if you don't care, si a usted no le importa, puede decir, ah, wherever. Así como el diablo están adentro, dentro de ustedes. Ok. And whoever is, if you want to decide. And que te gustaría, por ejemplo, what actor uh, do you like the most? ¿Qué actor te gusta más? Mm, whoever. Ok. O si están planeando un trip. And you are planning to invite someone. Están planeando invitar a alguien. Por ejemplo, uh, there is a trip between Andrea, Diana, and Susie. Ok. Las tres están planeando hacer un trip, un, un viaje. Y se preguntan, who do we invite? ¿A quién invitamos? Whoever. Y se llevan a quien sea. Okay. So, entonces, esto es para elegir, ¿ok? Cuando no le, le da igual, lo, le da igual lo que sea de cosas. Por ejemplo, ¿qué comemos? What do we eat? Ah, whatever, ¿ok? Y van a comer panes matanín. Okay. So, that's it. Whatever, el lugar, whoever, quien sea. Les digo eso porque muchas, muchas personas, a lot of people make mistakes with this, con whatever, ¿ok? Así que ya vimos esto. We continue, continuamos con más. Ways to say nice to meet you. When you uh, introduce someone, it is common. Let's imagine that Jose Miguel is a new, is the new student. So I am, pres I am introducing Jose Miguel to Nancy. So I say, have you met Jose Miguel? He's an architect. He's a very nice person, blah, blah, blah. And Nancy le dice, hello, hi. Y le dice, very nice to meet you. ¿Ok? Y él le puede decir, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pero es muy común decir, nice to meet you. O. Nice to meet you too. Eso es lo más común. That's very common. That when you are introducing someone, say, nice to meet you. And the other person says, nice to meet you too. But you have other. Uh, you have. Uh, other options to mention. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please, please, on that, please, to meet you. Okay. So pick one. We start with Diana and then Nancy. Pick one, please. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Nancy, then Jose Miguel. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, you. Okay, Jose Miguel, then Andrea. Nice to meet you too. Okay, Andrea, then Dora. Very nice to meet you. Good, Dora, then Claudia. Very nice to meet you. Good, Claudia, then Marlon. Pleased to meet you. Pleased. Please, 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 como please, como por favor, solo que conde, please. Mm -hmm. Please. Ajá, uh -huh. Marlon, then Susi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, good. Susi, then Diana. Please to meet you. Okay, Diana, then Nancy. Ah, no, Carmen. La primera. Diana. Sí, dije, it's a pleasure to meet no, you. No, yo pensé que era Andrea. Ah, oh, pero. Ah, entonces, Andrea, ¿no ha pasado? Ya, eh, el amor me tiene así. Ok, Nancy, ya pasaste. <laughs> También. Carmen en Alex. I'm sorry. Pleased to meet you. Ok, Alex and Leslie. Nice to meet you. Ok, Leslie. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ok, entonces, please es como, es como un por favor, ¿verdad? Pero please es como el placentero, como que es agradable conocerte. It's a pleasure, es un placer. And very nice to meet you, okay? So it is good to have different options to not sound the same. For example, están in, in una imagine that you are in another class and you are having a conversation. It is a little bit boring, es un poquito aburrido, to say the same words that the other students are, are, are saying, okay? So you have another option. Si se dan cuenta, durante todo este mes, yo les he dado diferentes opciones de cómo decir algo. And so you are going to show that your vocabulary is wide. So vocabulary is más amplio, okay? So, and we continue to ways to finish a conversation, forma de terminar una conversación, okay? So you can, you can say, I should get going. Ya debería irme. Should significa debería. Y should se pronuncia así. 
should. Okay. Igual que esto se pronuncia could. Okay. Could, should, could, should. O sea que la O y la L se omiten. Those are silent letters. Okay. I should get going. I could is different. Okay. So I should get going. I'd better get back to work. Oh, I'd better get back. I'm sorry. I'm better to get back to house. I better significa mejor. Yo mejor debería. I'd better. I'd, I'd better get back to. I'd better get back to house. Como ya debería irme. O, sí, o es mejor que me vaya a trabajar a la casa. It was nice talking to you. Fue, fue bonito hablar contigo. Ok. Y después de eso pueden decir, bye, bye, see you. Ok. So, I should get going. I'd better get back to work. I'd better, better get back to work. O I'd better get back to house. It was nice talking to you. Ok. Eso es bastante correcto. Ok. Uh, so, uh, we start with Diana de nuevo. Si no se me olvida, Dianita. Like um, okay. It was, it was nice talking to you. Talking, talking, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Andrea, then Nancy. I might better, better get back to work. To work, mm -hmm. O sea que digamos que están en, en you are in, in, you are at work, están en el trabajo, and you are talking, you're having a conversation with a colleague, y de repente pasa el jefe, the boss. So, I better get back to work. Mejor yo me voy a trabajar. Okay. <laughs> sí, a veces pasa. Cosas de la vida, realmente. Ok, José Miguel, Claudia. I don't better get back to house. To house, ya. Yeah. Claudia, then Marlon. I should get going. Marlon, let's go. It was nice. It was nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. Leslie, then Susie. It was nice talking to you. Talking to you. Yes. Uh, Dora and Carmen. I should get going. Yes, Carmen. Then Alex. It was nice talking to you. Good. Alex, then Carla. I should get going. Good. Carla? I better get back to house. House, thank you. So, why would you like, no, no, why? Would you like to be famous? Le gustaría ser famosos? Okay, that, 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 that's a, an interesting question. Because to be famous, maybe it's related to money, but it's related to traveling but also it's related to privacy. Está relacionada a la privacidad también. So th there are a lot of factors that have incidents, factors that have impact to decide if maybe you would like to be famous or not. So we're going to start with uh, Susie. No quiero decir que Susie es famosa, but let's imagine that maybe you could be more famous, international talking. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be famous. Because I, okay, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like. Ah, perdón, I wouldn't like mm -hmm. uh, to be famous because I must be very irritable to always be in view of everyone. Okay, what about? If a person asks you, si una persona te pide por una firma, un autógrafo, a photograph, no. Sometimes you are not in the mood. No estás como en el modo para hacerlo. Okay, you could be irritable. You, Susie, you. Really? O sea, si llama la atención, vea, pero. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So you said that no. And uh, it is related that people are always like behind you. Siempre están detrás de ti and what? Something. Something like that, okay. What about Carmen? Would you like to be famous? I would not like to be famous. Oh, 
Okay, tell me because why. Because they have not privacy. You don't have privacy, yes. And privacy is so important, so important, especially for family. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, what about Marlon? Then Leslie. Um, I would like to be famous uh, because uh, it means I will win much money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I will get much girls. <laughs> no, okay, okay. It's a joke. So for your wife? Míralo, mira. Ah. <laughs> it's a joke. No, okay. no, really, uh, really, I don't like it. It's for the reason that uh, Carmen mentioned before for the privacy. Privacy, yes, I know. Maybe sometimes you can have a lot of money, uh, you can have like a lot of girls, but uh, at the end you don't have privacy to do your things. Uh, I was yes. I was reading an article about the Beatles when they got famous, but a lot of fame. They were very young, tenían como unos 30, 25. They were very famous. But the problem was that Paul McCartney couldn't go to the shop to get some cigarettes. No podía ir ni a la tienda a comprar cigarros. <laughs> because the fans were crazy behind them. Yeah. Entonces yes, tu, eh? tu fans estarían oh, yeah. muy locas. Ya no podría ir a la tienda. <laughs> Marlo, yeah, that yes. could happen. Okay, another good point. We go now with Leslie, right? And then Andrea. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to be famous. Famous. Mm -hmm. uh, famous because with the money, I will, yeah, I could, I could give everything mainly to my family. And then I could help or, orphanatos. Orphan. 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 Orphans. Send okay. money or food to the poorest countries. Okay. And mm -hmm. I could have my animal shelter. Shelter, also. refugio de animales. Yes, that's a good mm -hmm. idea because you can help people and also you can help a lot of, well, poor animals, pobrecitos, los animales también necesitan ayuda. And of, of course, the kids, you could help children, okay? So before we continue, we're going to, well, to uh, get to the prepositional place and then we continue with the activity okay so here we have prepositional place remember that uh, we are always learning more vocabulary some depending on my vocabulary vocabulary so with the prepositional place we also have these options among that it is like a synonym of between and we all know that uh, diana what does it mean between do you remember? Look in the bottom of your heart. Okay. Uh, between means, means entre. Entre, yes. Uh -huh. So among is a synonym of between. So it means que among significa entre, of, of course. In front of it is super duper hyper mega easy, okay? You already know what is in front of. Near, uh, once I mentioned it, Carmen, do you remember what does it mean near? No, I not remember. You don't remember, okay, no problem. Andrea, you remember Andrea? No. No, teacher, I don't remember. La cara preocupada. Okay. <laughs> Marlon, what about near, my friend? Do you remember the meaning of near? Yes, and near means cerca. Yes, 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 yes. It's not a synonym, but it is close to the meaning to next to. Porque next to significa a la par. Okay, siguiente. But near is, that is close. That means close significa cerca. Okay, nice. And also, um, it's located past. Cuando decimos past, es como pasando. Pasando tal lugar. Uh, for example, if you ask um, Cathedral, Central Cathedral, you can say, oh, Cathedral is located past uh, the, past uh, Barrios, Gerardo Barrios Park, ¿verdad? Que la Catedral está pasando el Parque Gerardo Bar. Of course, if you come from the south, por supuesto, si vienen del sur, okay? So I need you to uh, help me to pronounce these sentences among, in front of, near, 
passed. So I will need um, Dora to help me with uh, sentence number one and Claudia with uh, number two. Okay, please Dora, help me. Where is the park located? In the located among many places. Yes, it is located. Yes, it is located among many places. Yes, of course. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, we go now with Claudia and then Carmen. Where? Where is a sport place located? It's located on various streets in front of the park. Thank you. Sport Palace mm -hmm. located. Located. Mm -hmm. Located or located. Okay. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Carmen, right? And after Carmen, we're having um, Alex. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. It's located near the restaurant. Thank you. Oh, Alex, where? Where is the shore? It's located past the call. school. The school. Okay, uh, I need you to pronounce, necesito que pronuncien located. Located, please, please, okay? Because it is so important. And remember, remember that we you're going to use this word uh, a lot of times. Vamos a utilizar esa palabra muchas veces, okay? Okay, would you like to be famous? Uh, who was the, the last person that was going to participate? ¿Quién era la otra persona que iba a participar? Con la última que, que iba después. Yo. Okay, Andreita, tell me, famous or not I... famous? Mi idea es, es parecida a la de Leslie. Mm -hmm. No copié, ya lo tenía. No, I'm not saying that. Tell us, <laughs> tell us, cuéntanos tu vida. Ok. Eh, I like to be a famous. Eh, yes, because I have money. And I would, I would create a foundation, foundation to help people in need besides and create foundation for homeless animal. animal. For homeless animals, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, a very good, a very good objective mm -hmm. or ideal. Okay, now we go with Carla. And then what about if we go with Alex? Would you like to be famous? Um, I would not mm -hmm. like to be uh, famous. famous. Mm -hmm. Because you like privacy. You like privacy, thank you. Alex, then we go with Claudia. No terminado todavía la Okay, I'm going to give you time, Claudia. And then, and then Dora. Mm. We don't like to be famous because I suppose my privacy. It exposes your privacy. ¿Qué tanto esconde, gente? No sé qué tanto esconde. Ok, Dora. And then we go with Diana. Ya pasaste, Diana. Ok, Dora and Diana. Please, please. Dora creo que se me la fuga. Ok, Diana, your turn. And then José Miguel. Ok. Yes, I could like to be famous mm -hmm. because I would like to have, have the possibility 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 to help many people especially children yes that, that that's a wonderful idea okay Jose Miguel uh, no I don't like be famous because uh, uh, don't have privacy okay yes it's a similar idea we uh, wouldn't have privacy no podrían andar cómodos en su casa because the paparazzi were like ready to have pictures and maybe your you what would you walk out and your your toe okay so you can be like tarzan Somos misteriosos. yes or maybe imagine if you invite another okay don't uh, don't say no to this idea. No digan que no en esta idea. Our neighbors are very special. When we invite people to our houses, our neighbors are like very pendient, like very, they are staring, they are watching, están viendo quién entra a la casa. Okay, 
So, Parecen cámaras. Yes, yes. Pero si se meten a robar, no dicen nada. So, uh, that, that is one point that people are on alert. Están en alerta. Yeah. Yeah, especially. So, imagine Andrea, yeah, she, well, uh, she invites a person. It's a special friend. And people say, Andrea has boyfriend. Yeah, they are going to get married. Andrea is pregnant. Okay, so. Can you imagine a lot of gossips on top of the chambres? Yes. Okay. So, todo falsos. Alex, are you ready? Yes. Okay, tell me. I would like to be famous for knowing many countries. For knowing many countries. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, it is all, uh, it is. Um, like a, a, a big possibility, okay? So uh, we continue, creo que todos pasaron, verdad? Everybody participated. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to prepositions on place. Remember, among, entre, in front of, okay? Siempre le vamos a poner, it's located. No, located, y located, okay? I'm going to write it, bro. Like this, located, located. Keep that in your mind. Located, located, because you're going to use it in the next activity. It's located among, it's located on barriers, it's located near, it's located past, okay? So, let's do the next activity. You do remember, ustedes sí recuerdan uh, this, uh, this map, okay? Let's say el mapa. Tesoro. So we have bank, mall, restaurant. Yes. So imagine if I ask you, where is the church? Where is the city hall? You can use, oh, it's located among, it's located in front of, it's located near, it's located past. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to some of you to mention this. And even also, uh, you can uh, say it's located on Berry Street. Okay. On Roosevelt Street on First Avenue, okay, to give more detail. So, um, here we have this. Complete the conversations using the proposition from the box, okay? So we're going to use this, but before uh, checking uh, this activity, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia, que por estar hablando de los chambres que nos hacen los vecinos, no es muy pasado. So, um, Alberto Soriano, no. Eh, Andrea, hello, Andreita. Hi, teacher. Hello. Carmen. I'm here. Thank you. Cesar, I think he's driving. Claudia. Present. Good. Christian. Uh, no, Alex. Alex. Present. Yes. You're the. Diana, thank you. Present. Good, Dora. Present. Good, okay, ever, no, Javier, José Alberto, José Miguel, bra, hello. Present. Okay, uh, thank you. We also have Carla, right? Present. Thank you. Kelvin, no, Leslie. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlon. Present. Nice. Nancy. Present. Uh -huh. And Susie. Present. Okay, so we're going to complete this. Uh, remember the sport palace, the restaurant, the city hall, and the church are uh, places that we already locate. Um, in the here in the map. So we start with the with Susie. What number? I need time. No, pero pon el imagen, vaya, pon el imagen, number four. I need time. <laughs> Don't need time. Okay. Okay. Confiable para desaparecerse. Eh, sería the short uh, and the city hall are among the park. Okay. Okay, okay. 
Uh, but I need you to select one, one of, of these numbers. Number four. Okay, uh, the chart in the city hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use. Ponga la imagen. Tranquila. Pass the school. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. the church and the city hall are past, aunque aquí decía the park. Mm -hmm. I need time. No, como que tiempo, vaya. Fácil, mira, ve. easy, cheesy, come on. ¿Cuál podrías hacer de todas estas? Está fácil. Okay, sería entonces in front of In the... front of, yeah, mm -hmm. ya ves, ya ves, tu corazón está confundido. Esa cita te dejó distraída. Okay, and now we go with um, Marlon. Then Dora. Okay, pick one. Um, the, the the number one. Uh -huh. uh, the, the sport palace is um, next to the bank. Okay. Yes, next to the bank. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have Dora, and after Dora, we're having Carmen. Two or, or three, Dora? Uh, three. Three. The restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant is... Is... The restaurant... The restaurant is... Is... Alone first. First. Avenue. Avenue. Thank you. And number four, we go with Carmen, right? I oh, know, number two. Uh, the city hall is next to the church and bookwork. Mm, next to? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pero ve. Okay, here's the city hall, the church, and the bookwork. Está fácil. Church. Ah, uh, eh. Between. Between, yes, thank you. Between the church and the book work. Okay, thank you. Quotations and, and appointments. Miren, aquí ya les tenía avanzado eso, pero como, because you are very intelligent and you are so smart. Ustedes son tan inteligentes, pero no smart TV. You are smart people. So, date versus appointment. So, I will select one person to tell me the difference because yesterday I talked about that, right? So uh, we're having, I'm having Leslie. Leslie, do you tell me what is the difference between date and appointment? Uh, between S and medio. Mm. Y on es, en medio no. de. No, unless. Between. No, ¿De qué me estás hablando? Estás enamorado. Okay. Vamos, ahorita quiero que me digan la diferencia entre date y la diferencia entre appointment. Ah, no, no ¿Ah? sé. Es que date era como cita o, o sí, cita. Uh -huh. Pero, y appointment también es de cita, pero de, de, imagino que no sé cómo decirlo. Sí, lo, lo que dice tu corazón. Que los dos significan cita, pero uno ya tenía una fecha y otro era como personal, algo así, no sé, no lo entendí me bien. Gusta cómo, que es que no sé cómo Fíjate que me gusta todo. que sea creativa. Y eso, I like that so me gusta esa, esa actitud. En otro te lo hubiera creído, fíjate, pero no. Ok, so the person, la risa de malvada. The person who is going to say it is, la persona que me lo va a decir va a ser Claudia que se me esconde. Ok, Claudia, date and appointment, what is that? No estoy escondida. Ajá. Day es una cita así con el novio y todo eso. Mm. Y appointment es eh, cuando uno tiene una cita como programada. Digamos, Pero podemos una tener cita. una cita programada con la pareja. No, con el doctor, digamos que haya. Ah, bueno, que... si andas con el doctor está bien. Ok. Tampoco. But, no, it's possible. Everything is todo es posible. Ok. Uh, so, yes. Pero sí está bien. Sí. Yes, of course, Claudia. Yes, I like that. Pero recuerden decir date. 
con te, date, porque dicen day es día, ok, so date, uh, it's a romantic, como la que tuvo Susana hoy, uh, like the date of Nancy yesterday, que fue a San Salvador, hizo sacrificio, o sea que valía la pena ir hasta San Salvador, an appointment is when you go to the dentist, you have a, 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 a meeting, work, tienes una reunión de trabajo, ok, so that's it, and quotations también significa cita, pero quotations significa citas, pueden ser bibliográficas, pueden ser citas de frases memorables, ¿ok? As the ones that we're going to study, como algunas que vamos a estudiar o van a mencionar, ¿ok? So, what about it if um, Carmen mentioned one? Could you mention one quotation, Carmen? Are you ready or do you need time? Uh, I'm ready. Ok, go ahead. I will. Ah, no. No era ese. <laughs> este. Almost all people are as happy as they make up their means to be. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Todas las personas. Mm -hmm. Qué interesante. Could you say it again? Are as happy as they make up their means to be. Mm -hmm. Todas las personas son tan felices. Tanto como lo, lo muestran o el, porque me no. make-up, maquillaje. Ajá. Eh, así lo, lo, tradu, lo tradujo, pero es como eh, todas las personas están felices como quieren o como piensan serlo. Ya, yeah. ok, ok. Excelente. I didn't know that, ok. Ok, now we go with Carla and then Susie. Ok, so tell me what's yours. Um, and it's time is perfect to learn, learn so many things now. Ok. Cual, cualquier momento es perfecto para aprender algo mm. nuevo. Yo pensé de que me había dicho, I need time. Pensé que me había dicho, necesito tiempo. Ok. Go. Cualquier momento. Mm -hmm. Cualquier momento es Who perfecto said that? para aprender. Who, mm -hmm. Who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Uh, Dora, right? And after Dora, we go with uh, Marlon. Learn to lie and you could be well. Mm -hmm. Say it again, please. Confucio. Okay, Confucio. Could you say it again, please? Dorita. Again. Ahora, ¿puedes decirlo de nuevo? Learn to lie and you could die well. Uh -huh. Aprende a vivir y, puede, y podrías vivir... Morir. Morir bien. Bien. Ok, good. Thank you. Marlon, your turn. Ok. Um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get different results. Insanity, okay. Who, who said it's, that? Uh, Albert Einstein. Okay, could you say it again? Uh, I have heard that mm -hmm. before. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get different results. La locura es hacerlo una y otra vez, ¿verdad? Lo mismo, una y otra vez, de, de la misma manera, esperando diferentes resultados. Resultados, yes. And so true, that's so true. Eso es tan verdadero, of course. So if you, if you want different results, you have to do it the things in a different form or doing different things, okay? Okay, perfect. Dianita, your turn. Okay. Uh, you need makes a strange. Mm, se traduciría como la unión hace la fuerza uh, uh, y, you, uh -huh. uh, eh, o la unidad unity uh -huh. será unity uh -huh. no. makes strength uh -huh. strength uh -huh. Uh -huh. fortaleza uh -huh. la, la unión uh -huh. hace la fuerza Just nos that. hace fuertes algo así uh -huh. okay. se traduce uh -huh. y lo dijo eso y es la moraleja de la fábula del viejo y sus hijos y ha sido Um, utilizado en varias y adaptado en varias situaciones. Sí, yo creo que esa fábula era de que estaba muriendo, creo, el, el, el señor. 
y les muestra con unos, con unos palitos, creo que les muestra eso. Uh -huh, me, parece, me parece que sí es. Ok, thank you, Diana. Thank you very much. And now we go with eh, Jose Miguel. Are you ready? Ok, eh, we go with Leslie. Vamos con Leslie, entonces. Thank you. Uh, setting an example is now the main way to influence others is the only way. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Could you repeat, please? Puede repetirlo, please? Setting an example is not the main way to influence others. It's the only way. Aha, uh -huh. okay. How do, could you say it in Spanish? Como lo podría decir eso en Spanish? Do you have an idea? Sí, dar, dar el ejemplo no es, lo princip no es como una manera principal, sino que es la única forma de, de influir a, ante los demás. Influir en... Okay, thank you. No conocía eso. Thank you, Leslie. Okay, we continue later with the rest. So, uh, we have speaking activity. We're going to use one chart. Vamos a utilizar un cuadrito que es este, okay? So, if you want, you can have screenshots or you can copy. O pueden copiarlo, como ustedes gusten. O por lo menos lo, esas cuestioncitas. Because here we have name, office and main phone, workplace, job position, department, address, ID. So you're going to be in pairs and you have to ask, uh, what's your name? Of course, you already know your names. Por supuesto, ya saben sus nombres, pero but you can do it. What's your name? What's uh, the office main phone? ¿Cuál es el teléfono de la oficina? Uh, uh, what's your workplace? Okay. ¿Cuál es tu, tu, tu lugar de trabajo? Okay. Bueno, en este caso lo vamos a poner where, where, donde, donde, where is your workplace? Y le ponen el nombre de la empresa y en dónde está ubicado. Uh, you can say the department, puede ser el departamento, puede ser la colonia. Ok, no problem. What's your job position? Y lo anotan. Ok, uh, what's the department? Este es el departamento al cual pertenece. You remember, uh, it could be sales, marketing, accounting, a lot of things. Address, ok. Uh, la dirección en ID, ID. El ID es el número eh, ID, Identification Document. O sea, el ID puede ser un DUI, pero también el ID puede ser um, el número que tienen de... de si ustedes tienen, tienen un badge o tienen un... ¿Cómo se llama? Un carnet. Pueden inventárselo, no problem. Pueden utilizar las, las, las letras, las últimas dos letras, perdón, las de sus apellidos. Por ejemplo, Susie, what's your last name? Jiménez, what? What's the second last name? Osorio. Ah, de Osorio. Ok, no. Jiménez Osorio. So, uh, you can say J-O-007. Ok, you can do it like that. Pueden hacerlo así, ¿verdad? Eh, la iniciales de, de sus dos apellidos y algún número de ser. Ok. So, remember, name, office, main phone, que es el teléfono de la oficina, workplace, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el lugar? ¿verdad? ¿Y dónde está? Job position, el, ¿cómo se llama la posición de ustedes en el trabajo? Department, eh, donde ustedes trabajan. The address, que es la dirección de ustedes, porque es la información del empleado. La dirección de ustedes en IG. Ok. So, I'm going to set it uh, the breakout rooms. Voy a ver los, los, los grupos de trabajo, ¿verdad? En parejas, please. So, Una pregunta, Peter. Uh -huh. Perdón. Eh, cuando vamos a decir, por ejemplo, los números, ¿los podemos decir siempre en pareja o yeah. uno por uno? Whatever, okay. the way you want to say, como lo diga tu corazón, pero yo sugiero que lo digan en pares, ¿ok? Porque es más fácil, por ejemplo, I'm sorry, could you say it again? Lo dicen de nuevo, entonces ustedes dicen el último par, pero si lo dicen uno por uno, eh, hay más posibilidad, there are more possibilities that, that people get confused. La gente se puede confundir más si lo dicen uno por uno, a menos que lo digan lento. Seven, one, pero así es Okay. El punto es que lo digan en in inglés. Así como ustedes han estado haciendo la mayoría de todas las actividades, 
Algo que sí me gusta de ustedes es que sí hacen las actividades, ¿verdad? Inglés y todo eso, ¿ok? So, eh, check the information, revisen la información que ustedes van a decir mientras yo preparo eh, los grupos. Okay, let's do it. Toma nota, please. Mail phone. What you your mean? your main phone? Main phone es, es, es tu número de teléfono fijo, digamos, de tu trabajo. Is Unify. Sí. Ajá, lo puede inventar, inventado, lo puede hacer. Pero qué era el, el número del local. Ajá, con con le, eh, su número como su DUI, pero el, el, ah, el mío, el mío. Es como el carnet, es como el carnet de tu empresa. Ya, ya, ya. ya. Eh, como el registro. No, es número de identificación. Inventátelo si quieres. No problem. Es mm. 15, 17. Asesores. Y Asesores. consultores. Asesores y consultores integrales. SAS20. S A D C eh, municipio Daniel Daniel sí. okay eighty six okay two six okay inventando ahora. <risa> un poquito nada más un poquito. Okay. vaya Carmen Monaco número 7 en my dress 
y uh -huh. is in urbanización habitat confie is lend to house fifty fifty okay mm -hmm. y id my my id is zero two mm -hmm. five Two, mm -hmm. uh, twenty five. Mm -hmm. Ay, como se decía guión, ya se me olvidó. Mm, dash, o creo que dash sería. Ajá, ¿qué se le olvidó? Dash, mujeres? ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, el guión. <risa> Ajá, dash, guión. Dash, dash. Uh -huh. Ajá. dash five. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Ok, vaya, ahora usted. Sure. Name? Susana Jiménez. Susana Jiménez. Sus Susana Jiménez. Eh, office main phone. Uh, quería. Uh, quiero ver. Para... ¿Qué sería, verdad? Número de teléfono. C28. Uh -huh. Personal, ¿verdad? C28. Uh -huh. ¿O oh, de la oficina? Sí, sí. Sí, porque dice Office Mail, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, sería Hola, entonces 22. Hola, yo. Puedo, puedo, puedo. 22. 41. 41. 00. Street to the Volcano, Mexicanos en Salvador. ID, CB, 6186. CB, 6, CB6186. Sí. Ok. Ok. Estamos listas. Sí. So you finished. <laughs> wow. You work very good. Uh, did you know before? ¿Se conocían antes? No. No. No, nothing at all. Para no, nada, para no, nada. Conozco a, uh, no conocía a ninguno del grupo. A nadie, a nadie. Ok. Andrea sí, right. Andrea sí trabaja con sí. Susi. Con, con Susi, con Carla, Diana y Claudia. Mm, ese grupito propio. <risa> Pobre Carmencita, ¿dónde viene a quedar? No, pero todos son, son bien <risa> llevaderos, son bien. Por lo menos aquí en la clase. Sí. No, bien. Relax. So that's nice. Muy bien, ya le voy a preguntar después, ¿ok? Ok. Vaya. Okay, we're going to start by saying uh, some information about your, your partner, okay? I need you to select one, one information. For example, Andrea's main office phone is, or Carmen's workplace is, okay? Or Nancy's job position is, or Carla's department is, okay? Vamos a utilizar el, el possessive nouns, el nombre con la S, Diana's address is, okay? So select one. Uh, Carmen, you start. Andreas, uh, no, oh, or sí. no? Yes. Okay, el nombre, Andreas. Okay, name. you can select another. <laughs> sí, pues. El nombre de Andreas, Andrea. No, yeah, And, you can say Andrea another. Vázquez. Andreas main form is, uh, is 20, 22, 53, 43. 25. Andrea's okay. mm -hmm. workplace is distribuidora salvadoreña Santa okay. Tecla. Thank you, Carmen. Te encendiste. Ah. Thank you. Nada, nada. Emocionaste. Esta es Carmencita. 
estaba bien animada con la información de Andrea. Okay, thank you. Okay, Andrea, you go and then we go Diana with Diana. Carmen's ID is CB6186. Okay, thank you. And Diana, you go. Okay, Nancy's your position is accountant. Good, Nancy, you go, then Claudia. Diana? Diana's. Eh, Diana's, Diana's workplace, eh, distribuidora salvadoreña. Mm -hmm. Okay, Claudia, tu tiempo ha llegado. Carlos Andres, Ciudad de Versalles, Vía Mónica, number seven. Okay, remember, uh, uh, Carlos Andres is, okay. Thank you. Sorry. Yes. Te okay, Carla. Yo siempre perdono a la mujer. Okay, Carla. You go. And then eh, Susi. Claudia. Claudias. Mm -hmm. ID. 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 Eh, B. C. 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 21, 23. Okay, thank you. Susie, then Alex. Leslie's job position, graphic design. Is... Is graphic design. Graphic design. Okay, Alex. Uh, Leslie, I'm sorry. Uh, we go with Leslie and then Alex. Okay, Leslie. Uh, Susie's ID is... SJ26 eh, 51. Ok, me suena inventado, pero eso no bien. Ok, good, thank you. Eh, Alex, you go. Marlon Dueñas. Mm -hmm. Where is your workplace? Turno mm, no, no, no. Marlon's workplace is. Marlon Dueñas, workplace is. Turno Lara, San Salvador. Okay, good. Thank you. Marlon, you go and then uh, we're having we're having Dora, tal vez. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alex, the department is uh, operation. Mm -hmm. Operation. Thank you. Uh, Dora, are, are you ready, Dora? Jose Miguel Lara. Mm -hmm. Where is where, where place is Tornolara. Okay, thank you. The, Jose, uh -huh. Department mm -hmm. de, de, design. Design, okay. Design. Okay, thank you, Dorita. Jose Miguel, your turn. Doras. No, no. le puedo dar la información completa. No, solo era una, Yo, Dorita. Uh. Sé que estabas activada, emocionada y, y estabas excited. But relax, relax, okay? So, um, she Jose, works, she works place is transportes deluxe. Okay, in ese caso, puedes decir her workplace. Porque yeah, she okay. es ella, uh, her es de ella. Uh, her workplace is transportes, mm -hmm. what you say? Okay, thank you. Here we have okay. Mauricio, okay. Try to memorize one of the, informa the information that you can see here. Okay, I'm going to give you like five or seven seconds. It's easy. Easy, easy. So uh, we're having, Alex, tell me something that you saw in there. Algo que viste. Workplace. What is the workplace? Is <laughs> no, uh -huh. no, pero qué bárbaro. Okay, okay. Carmen, and then Diana. Department production. Ah, production. Okay, good. Mira, Carmencita fue la, la vieja confiable. Antes que me la gane. Diana, and then name, Marlon. Name, Mauricio Quintanilla. Que bien se escuchó esa M. Name, Mauricio Quintanilla. Good. Okay, Marlon. Then Nancy. Uh, uh, software designer. Uh -huh. And what is that? Uh, that's the job position. Job, yeah, yeah. Job position. Job Good. Position. Nancy, ya que has hecho el 
tragantazo de café. No era café, ¿qué era? Wow. Agua. Pero no puse atención, es que estaba bebiendo agua y la quitó así. Rápido. Crazy water, like Aniceto Molina. Ok. And we go with Andrea, para que no diga que la debo de último. Address eh, on Roosevelt Street. Good. Yes. Cuando activas todas tus neuronas y la sinapsis. <laughs> Trabaja de la mejor manera. Ya ok, let's listen to Claudia. Claudia, a ver qué tienes para nosotros. Cuéntame, cuéntame. ID MQ. Y a los otros números no los vi. Ay, caquita. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué pasó con la magia? Ok, no problem. Ok. We're having Christian Alberto. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Good. Perfect. Good. Terrific. Perfect. The, were you having a date? ¿Tenías una cita de casualidad ahora? No. Eh, no. No. No importa. Lo siento. La próxima. Ok. <laughs> Do you have information for me? Something that you saw? El ID. El ID. Va, vamos a destronar a Claudia. Pues. Vamos a ver. Decía. Ajá. En MQ. Uh, 10, uh -huh. 83 y 5, 9. 5, 9. Ok, good. Yo creo que se van a acordar de esto, de N, siempre. De mí. Ya te van a soñar conmigo. Ok, good. Christian, thank you. Vaya, Claudia. Vaya, Claudia. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Le tomó captura. No, hombre. los hombres somos honestos. Justos. Ok. Who else, who else? Vamos a ver si Susi tiene algo para mí. Vamos a ver, Susi. No, ya me lo ganaron. Ah, sí. ¿A quién? Job Position Software Design. Ajá. Design. Uh -huh. Ya me lo ganaron. Ok. Nobody told me office main phone. Did anybody got uh, the office main phone? ¿Alguien? Andrea. You, no. And antes me puedo el mío. <laughs> no, but you have a good memory. Come on. Okay. Let's check uh, this uh, profile information that it is employees information or profile, que es un perfil. Uh, it, this is especially information that people have. Name, Mauricio Quintanilla, Guicho. Office or main phone is 7203-9164, que es el número que le da la empresa. Or it can be office or it can be a cell phone, of course. The workplace is Arrows Technology Company, okay? The address on Roosevelt Street and first, first, no first, first avenue, number 853, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Job position, software designer, Department Production, no Production, Production, and IDMQ 1083.59. So, he works for Arrows and Arrows Technology Company. So, reading the employee information in circle, mm -hmm. we're going to select the correct information. How? Identifying Arrows Company. Vamos a identificar dónde está eso, okay? So, we're going to select the correct, uh, the correct, direction. So the person who is going to help me reading is going to be, um, what about if, hello Kelvin, good evening. Okay, maybe he's going to connect later. Christian, hello Christian. Okay, um, we're going to go with Diana. Entonces. So Diana, could you read number one? Number two. Oh, please. You can you go with number one? Ah, number one. Yeah, okay. please. It is located. Located. Yes. In, so as in front. <laughs> in front of of the mo the mail. Okay. On first avenue. On first, aha, uh -huh, in front of the mall. Yes. Okay, ah, it is... the mall. Okay. Sí, ¿Qué pasó, Diana? El amor que tiene así. <laughs> Los lentes. Los lentes. Okay. <laughs> so it is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. Let's see. Located in front of the mall on First Avenue. 
Mm -hmm. Could it be? Could it be? Vamos a ver después. Oh, sorry. Number two, we go with uh, Susie. Okay, it is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. The restaurant. Okay, across First uh, across First Avenue, mm -hmm. and then what's that? Behind the restaurant. Behind the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is behind, but okay. Thank you. Okay, with with number three, we go with Marlon. It is and four. We're having. We're having number time. four. No, number three. Yeah, number three. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book world. Okay, it's located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book world. Okay. And number four. <laughs> okay, number four, Carmen, right? It is located along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. Okay, along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. City hall and the park. No, I don't think so. So obviously, what do you think it is the real direction? ¿Cuál es la dirección real? One, two, three, or four? Three. Yes, it's three. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book board. Yeah. On Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and book board. Okay, thank you. We continue with a quotation, 35 minutes and we finish, okay? In 35 minutes, terminamos. So uh, we have quotations, Andreita. Vamos a ver alguna cita especial, pero cita de quotation, no otra cita. Ah, yo les iba a relatar otra. Bueno, dale, pues dale, <laughs> para ponerle no, sazón. No, no, el mejor no, el no, but how wonderful it is that no one needs to wait a single a single moment before beginning to improve the world. Mm, qué maravilloso es. Qué maravilloso no es que nadie ajá, necesita esperar ni un solo momento antes de comenzar a mejorar el mundo. Mm. ¿Quién? Josué Cuellar dijo eso. ¿Quién lo dijo? No, este, Ana Frank. Ah, Ana Frank, ok. Sí. Nice, nice. Porque yo lo había dicho. Ok, thank you. Um, we go now with Claudia. And then Nancy. Claudia, show time. Está un poquito largo. Ok. Ahora, okay. son de la bandera salvadoreña. Sí, sí, yes. de mi padre. <laughs> Dice, take care of your toes because they will become acts. Take care of your action because they will become constant. Take care of your constant because they will from your character. Take care of your character because it will your destiny and your destiny be will your life. Mm. Who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Mahatma Gandhi. Mm, esa, no la, esa no la conozco, esa frase. ¿Qué te voy a en español? Dice, cuida tus pensamientos porque se volverán actos. Cuida tus actos porque se harán costumbre. Cuida tus costumbres porque se formará tu carácter. Cuida tu carácter porque se formará tu destino. Y tu destino será tu vida. Mm. Very interesting. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Mm, in, well, wisdom, bueno, wisdom significa sabiduría y wise es sabio. Okay, wisdom, uh, es sabiduría y wise es sabio. Okay, and Nancy? And after Nancy, we're having Susie. Don't expect every child to love to most people don't even, even love themselves. Mm -hmm. Who was the author of that quotation? Ken the author? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, uh -huh. In Spanish? No esperes que todo el mundo te ame. La mayoría de las personas ni siquiera se 
ni siquiera se aman a sí mismas. Mm, they're real, muy real. Ok, I like it. Ok, and Susie, and then we have Jose Miguel. Ok, wars will continue as long as skin color is more important than a color. Mm -hmm. Ok, who said that? Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Mm, me suena como, ok. Mm -hmm. Could you say it in Spanish, please? Ok, dice, las guerras seguirán mientras el color de la piel siga siendo más importante que el de los ojos. Mm, very nice. Ok, thank you. José Miguel, are you ready? And then, Alex. No. No ready. Ok, Alex, are you ready? And then, Chris. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, Alex, please. In the midst of difficult, difficulty, Opportunity is born. Mm -hmm. Who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. En medio de la dificultad nace la oportunidad. Ok, en medio de la dificultad nace la oportunidad. Ok, thank you. Perfect. Uh, now we go with Christian. Are you ready, Christian? Uh, yes. Ok, go ahead. It is uh, totally in, impossible, no sé cómo se impossible. dice. Impossible. Impossible uh, to over a town. It is, it, it uh, has lost uh, confidence in its leaders. Ok, es imposible gobernar, ¿verdad? Un pueblo o una ciudad. Uh -huh. Sí, es, resulta totalmente imposible gobernar un pueblo si este ha perdido la confianza en su gobernante. Yes, who said that? The author? El autor? Eh, Confucio decía. Ah, Creo que es un Confucio. monje. Yes, <laughs> yes, well, interesting. Okay, thank you. What a wonderful words we have heard. And I think you have different interests, but all of the words that we listened are... Uh, full of wisdom. Todas esas palabras que ustedes mencionaron, todas las frasecitas están llenas de sabiduría. And we learn by knowing at least part of this wisdom. Okay. We go with a listening activity. Teníamos un rato de no tener listening activity. So, I need you to have this chart, but uh, I'm going to do it like smaller. I'm sorry. Okay. It is important to write the name. It's important to write the name, okay? Uh, yep, only that. Name, phone, workplace, okay? And then address. And then what else? Uh, job position, department, and ID. We're going to listen to uh, different profiles, a uh, different perfiles, and it is important for, for you to be ready. It's important to get just in list of platform para escuchar uh, different tools and different uh, different types of information. Okay, name, phone, workplace address, job position. Department ID. Okay, so um, we're going to listen. Vamos a escuchar. Number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256 I work in a City Hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and one. Okay, let's listen again to Gabriela. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 
eighty nine. I work in a city hall on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and one. Okay, now we go with number two. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 6253-4132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Berrien Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, let's listen again, number two. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 6253-4132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Berrien Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 79 63-21-54. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES 96-89-0. Okay, number three again. Hi. My name is Elisa. My phone number is 79-63-21-54. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES 96-89-0. Okay, and number four, that is the last person. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78-26-61-67. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Okay, last uh, number four. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78-26-61-67. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Okay. Y este audio estuvo más cargado. Estos audios estuvieron más cargaditos, pero pues sí. Ya están casi listos para volar a otro mundo. So, mm, let me see. So, do we have uh, for number one? Does anybody have that information for number one? Mm. Vaya, yo. Bye. Name Gabriela. Mm -hmm. Phone 2266 uh, 969789. Mm -hmm. Workplace City Hall. Address. Solo escuché Second Avenue Roosevelt Street. Okay. Job position Secretary Department mm -hmm. Human Resource. Uh, ID GT. Zero, three, one. Okay. Solo un detallito, André. Solo uno. <laughs> ya veo que tergiverse. No, mentira. Okay. Yes. You were almost totally correct, Gabriela. Yeah, the number correct. The workplace correct. Yes, on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. 
but was fine. Job position secretary department. Deep, remember department. Mm -hmm. Human resources and IT GT 06. ¿Verdad? O O6. Zero three one. Creo que un cero te, te comiste. But amazing, increíble. Good. Yeah. Te mereces una pupusa revuelta. Okay. Good, Andreita. Congratulations. Okay. Any brave? Algún valiente for number two? Que fue el, el mejor de todos. El, el mejor audio de todos. I know that you love it. Sé que les encantó. Uh -huh. Let's see. Y si no, eh, con, lo, con la información que tengan. Okay. No problem. Si tienen poca información, go ahead. Carmen, la veo con ganas. O oh, Marlon, ok, Marlon, no, que okay, Marlon dice, this is my moment, mi momento de brillar. Eh, 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 name, Marcela. Uh -huh. uh, phone number uh, 62, 53, 41, and 32. Yeah. Uh, workplace, Sport Palace. Uh -huh. Address, various streets in front of the park. Uh -huh. Position, cashier. Uh, department uh, Custom and Service um, ID DM uh, 1448. Yes, good, Marlon. Te ha ganado un vaso de chaparro. Yes, de chalaco. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yes, good. Yes, yes, this was the most difficult audio. Este es el audio más difícil, ¿verdad? Okay, so Marcela. Yeah, the correct phone number, Sport Palace. Yes, on Berry Street, in front of the park, cashier, customer service, and DM1448. A veces, bueno, en los audios yo siempre pongo esos tricky numbers. Siempre pongo esos números que son así, pero esos no es para, para que se equivocan, sino que para que realmente captemos la diferencia. Porque muchos dicen 1414, 14, pero no. It is 1440. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Y yo cuando pido los audios, ¿Verdad? A, a mis compañeras, ¿verdad? A todas las que pueden escuchar ahí. Les pido que algunas lo hagan más rápido, ¿verdad? Otro más lento. ¿verdad? Okay. So, for you to have different accents, para que ustedes tengan diferentes acentos, porque si solo soy yo el que les digo, aparte que se van a aburrir, solo a mí me van a captar, pero a mí me interesa, a mí me interesa que you can recognize and identify words from different accents, from different pronunciations, de pronunciaciones diferentes. Ok, number three, who else? ¿Quién se anima with number three? Vamos a ver. Yo, pero no tengo toda la información. Bueno, lo que salga um, de tu cora, Dianita. Okay. Go ahead. Name, Elisa. Phone, 7963, uh -huh. 2254. Okay. Workplace, Adam, yes. Bank. Uh -huh. Address. Um, solo anoté Street and First Avenue. Ok. Uh, Job Position Accountant Department. Uh, no, no me confundí porque. Ok. Uh, no, uh -huh. la, pues, ah, el departamento no lo anoté. No problem. Y... ID. ID, solamente creo que era I, S, uh -huh. ID, 99, okay. no, uh -huh. creo. Ok, está bien, está bien, solo en un número, en un numerito, ok. Eh, thank you, Diana, very good done, muy bien hecho. Entonces aquí tenemos Elisa, solo aquí es eh, 7963-21, porque me dijiste 22, so 21, it's ok. Bank on various Street and First Avenue. Mm -hmm. Solo te faltó various. Accountant, yes. Department is finance. Finance. Mm -hmm. Pero esta, esta compañera, bueno, la que me mandó el audio, sí, a veces lo pronuncian un poquito diferente, si se dan cuenta. Algunas. Pero ese es el, ese es el objetivo, que escuchen diferentes pronunciaciones. En ES, mm -hmm, 96, eh, eh, 8, 90. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Bien hecho. Good. Ok, and what about number four? La voz más sexy, que es la número cuatro. Yes? Anybody? Ok. Ah, pues voy a elegir. Oh. Dennis. Uh, ¿Quién dijo yo? Dennis. 
Yo. Ah, Dorita. Ah, Dorita. Démosle. ¿Cómo dicen? Démosle. Ok. Denis. Eh, name. Denis. Um. 78. 66. Hasta ahí. Ok. Y workplace. Book World Company. Uh -huh. Address. 29 Avenue. Cross Street. Ok. Job position. Job position sales person. Mm -hmm. Nice. Y solamente. Ok, good. Thank you. ¿Alguien tiene department de Dennis? En IT? Sales department. Sales. Sales. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what about the ID? Uh, does anybody have it? MN. Ajá. Uh -huh. 51. Eh, eh, 15, 15, 9. Yes, that's nice. Thank you, thank you. Ok. Me gusta que tomen agua. Salud, Diana, salud. Ok. So, Dennis, yes, eh, 7826. Mira, Dorita, 6167. Ok, Google Company, yes. On Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Salesperson, sales, yes. MN, the MN. Estas también son tricky, solo como MM, no, MN, 51, 50, uh, uh, 51, 59. Ok, thank you. Bien, estas son de las últimas actividades de listening que tenemos y si se dan cuenta, han mejorado mucho. Y yo sé que a veces es difícil captar toda, pero toda la información, pero con solo el hecho de que identificar, uh, just the, the point that you identify information related to the name, phone number, that I know that it is difficult to identify and to write because the pronunciation is fast sometimes. And the workplace, the address, so you are accustomed, están acostumbrados to this type of vocabulary. And that's what I want. Eso es lo que yo quería, que se acostumbraran a un tipo de vocabulario que es eh, prácticamente um, vocabulario ya de inglés del trabajo, ya es inglés un poco técnico, okay? Porque es más fácil decir, hi, how are you? Y todo eso. But this vocabulary is a little bit uh, difficult. Okay, uh, 15 minutes and we finished. So who has had the most influence in your life and why? So uh, let's listen to some answers and maybe we can have the participation of... Carmen, que tú me hiciste un ejercicio. Who you? Ah, quizás. Yes, Carmen, uh, are you ready to share? Who has had the most influence? Mm -hmm. Puede ser, the most influence in my life is, mm -hmm. or the, the person. Most influence. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest influence? No. Or the biggest influence, yes. In my life has been my grandmother. Grandma, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have the reason? Tienes la razón por qué? En mm, inglés todavía no. Okay. Necesito más tiempo. Ok, I'm going to give you time. Mira, tengo mucho tiempo pedir. Hmm. No problem. Ok, get it. Ok, so we are going with Susie and then Marlo. Ok, Susie. Ok, my inspiration is my grand two. Grandma. Uh, mm -hmm. Grandma. Mm -hmm. She is my inspiration because her mood to be. Mm, her mood is, is really good. It's really fine. Ok, so is your grandma alive? ¿Aún vive? Sí, todavía. Ok, that's como nice. Mamá, sí. Ok, so take care of her. Uh, you have to spend time with her that it is important because when we don't have our grandpas or our grandmas, we, we suffer, sufrimos, because we miss them, porque los extrañamos. So, uh, so you are very lucky, eres afortunada. Ok, perfect, nice. Uh, Marlon, you go and then Dora. Uh, the most influence influence in my life uh, has been my mother and my brothers, uh, my family, mm -hmm. can say. But especially my mother and, and one of my brothers, because they always have been very hardworking. They always have been supporting me. Está bien dicho. Yes, yes. And. Uh, Mm -hmm. And um, 
they never let me give up mm -hmm. or left me give up yeah. in, in, in all my activities, in all my, my, in all the things that I want to, to do or in all activities I want to get, como era éxito? Success. Success. Okay, okay. yes, that's apoyando. good. They inspire you, they push you, like you yes. can do it. Come on, you can do it, okay. And that's important in the family. Not all the families are like that. But so you're very lucky. Okay. Thank you, Marlon. Yes. That's good for your family. Okay, Dorita, and then we go with Christian. The most influence in my life is my older sister. Mm -hmm. Because is very dynamic and daring. Okay, your older sister. Uh, did she take care of you? Te cuido ella? Yes. Okay, so that's she. That's uh, one of the reasons because she's so special to you. Okay, because uh, when we have older uh, or elder, elder significa en general como mayores, como los mayores, verdad? Por eso es que los lo, lo, por eso es que los mormones se ponen elder porque también se consideran como como, como hermanos mayores, verdad? Por eso mismo. So the elders are uh, like our la, our example, okay, and they take care of us, nos cuidan, and uh, that is something that we never forget, no olvidamos eso. Okay, Christian, then we go with Carmen, that Carmen, I know that she's ready now, Carmen, yes, perfect. Okay, Christian. Eh, como se decía, the most influences mm -hmm. or in the my biggest, life. The biggest influence in my life is? Eh, is my mother. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, uh, never, never give, give gives up. up. Give up. Give, nunca se rinde. She never gives up. Yes. Okay. That, that that's interesting because uh, they uh, well our mothers they teach us. Nos enseñan. Teach. Nos enseñan. Teach us. Uh, never give up. To continue or to look for our dreams. Buscar nuestros sueños or our objectives. Okay. We go with. Carmen, and then um, Carla. Uh, my grandma, because she was a strong, educated, and prudent woman, mm -hmm. and she trusted, trusted me. Sí. Que confiaba en confiaba. Mí. Mm -hmm. She took care of me. Oh, wow, she took care. So that's so important. And the trust is one of the most important things. La confianza es algo tan importante. And when you feel that trust, you feel, con tu sientes eso, you think that you can do it, whatever you, you, you plan to do. So that, that's a really important in our life. So thank you, Carmen. Good. Uh, Carla, and then we go with Kelvin, if you're ready, Kelvin. Okay, Carla. The most influence in my life, my mom, my mom for me, a fighter woman. Okay, for being a fighter woman. A so fighter woman. yes, because uh, our our mothers or fathers, they have problems, and sometimes they never tell us. Nunca nos dijeron eso. But they are fighting against life. And they are always there for us. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Kelvin, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. The best influencer in my life is my best friend. Mm -hmm. He has had that the greatest influence in my life to guide me good advice. Okay, that's uh, that, 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 that's interesting because friends. Uh, sometimes when we have very or special and good friends, they guide us, nos guían, and they give us advice, nos dan consejos. And that's, a, well, that's a treasure, a común tesoro. Thank you, Calvin. Okay, now we go with Andrea and then Nancy. Okay, Andrea. Uh, the most influence in my life is my mother because mm -hmm. she taught she taught me, uh, taught me to be a strong woman, a wrestler woman, a self-sufficient woman, 
She taught me everything I know. Wow. So she taught you how to be independent, okay? So to be a strong woman. So una mujer pues fuerte que se vale por sí misma. So, okay, like a warrior, como una guerrera, okay? O sea que ya puede ser mamá luchona. You can do it. No, ya quiere. <laughs> Yes, wonderful. Es súper importante que les enseñen eso a las hijas en, en el caso, or in your case, for daughters, teaching for daughters, que son ciencias para las hijas. Ok, uh, Nancy and Diana. The most influence my father, he was always very strict, but for or good. Ok, yes, uh, dads or fathers are so important. They are like the base uh, of, of, in a family. And it is good when we have their support. Thank you. Uh, okay, Diana, and then with Leslie. Okay. The biggest influence in my life is my mother because she is a good person besides a strong and brave woman. Wow, brave. Yes, one uh, one of the most special characteristics. Yes, so that's why you are brave also, Diana. Yeah, no? Okay, Leslie, you go. Yeah. The greatest influences in my life has been my mother, who got used at home food studies, mm -hmm. but about uh, she taught us Used principles, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, principles. Principles. Mm -hmm. Okay, principles and values y los valores are uh, like fundamental in life. And if we learn since childhood, si aprendemos desde la, desde la niñez, well, we're going to have like those strong values uh, when we are adults, cuando somos adultos. Thank you. Okay, Leslie. Okay, we have also Jose Miguel. Are you ready? Okay, otherwise, we're going with Alexander and then Claudia. Alex, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead, my friend. The image influencing in my life for because, because the because he has support in everything and also taught me not to give a yeah. mother how difficult the problem or the situation. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Alex and Claudia. we we'll finish with you. The most influence uh, in my life is in my grandmother. Because she ha she gives me the best advice. 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 Okay, yes. I think grandmothers are our angels. Well, that's what I think. Eso es lo que yo pienso. That our grandmothers or our grandpas are like angels that we have here in, in on earth que tenemos en la tierra, son como ángeles que tenemos. So take advantage, aprovechen, take advantage, advantage the time you have with special person in the family because uh, the time is something that never returns. Nunca regresa, okay? You can have money, you can have health, pueden tener salud, eh, dinero, you can have different opportunities, a eh, very good job positions, but time is something that never comes back, it's a treasure. So uh, take advantage of the opportunities to share, to compartir, to spend time with those special people in your life. Okay, we're about to finish, ya vamos a terminar, solo comentarles que este, siempre he tratado de darles oportunidad para que hablen, si se dan cuenta cada vez más, estas últimas veces yo sé que les he puesto más actividades I'm sorry for that, pero esas actividades son para que ustedes hablen más para que compartan y se les suelte la lengua no con los chambres, sino que con practicar más inglés y ahora yo he visto que se desenvuelven más les están perdiendo el miedo 
Y en, en, si en dado caso están en otro curso, ya sea aquí o en otro lado, con otras personas, así sean, tengan esa actitud, ¿verdad? Adelante, no tengan miedo de equivocarse, porque casualmente, comentarles esto, cuando uno viaja a otros países, la gente no lo ve de menos a uno cuando no habla bien inglés. Les comento eso porque yo viajé cuando estaba comenzando en la universidad y yo dije, ah, con dos años en la universidad, ¿qué he aprendido? Ya sé, ¿no? Y sí, en diferentes contextos se, se encuentran, por ejemplo, para pedir un taxi, para pedir una hamburguesa. Entonces, eh, porque me atendieron unos, eran como hindús. Entonces, el inglés de ellos es bien diferente. Si ustedes escuchan un, un, un japonés hablar inglés, un hindú, un latino, son, tienen un acento un tanto diferente. Ya, entonces, a lo que voy es que yo me confundía, me, 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 me costaba un poquito, pero la gente no lo ve mal a uno. Lastimosamente, a veces tenemos compañeros, tenemos amigos que, que pueden ver un poco mal, pero no, realmente en el mundo exterior es totalmente ¿qué? aceptable. Y es más, a, te admiran cuando ven que intentas hablar su idioma. Eso es bien genial. Así que, pues, ánimo. Adelante. I'm going to check the attendance list and we're going to finish. Y vamos a terminar. So, uh, Alberto Soriano. I'm sorry, my friend. Ya no te vimos. Andrea. Hello, Andreita. I'm here. Yes, ya te vi. I saw you. Carmen. Present. Thank you. And, well, Cesar is driving. Claudia. Present. Claudia, thank you. Christian. Present. Thank you, uh, Alex. Present. Nice. Diana. It's me. Good. Yes, it's you. Dora. Present. Nice. Uh, Ever, Javier, Jose, Eduardo, Jose Miguel. Hello, Jose Miguel. Present. Thank you, Carla. Present. Nice. Uh, Kelvin. Present. Good. Leslie. Present teacher. Nice. Marlon. Present. Good. Nancy. Present. Good. And Susie. Present. Okay, Judith is not here. Bien. Como consejo final, avancen ahora si sí pueden con el examen, con los homeworks para que mañana estén relaxed, ¿verdad? Para que estén llorando ahí, después ahí de la foto y todo eso, ¿ok? So, relax. recuerden, pues mañana es viernesito, también tienen que descansar. So, see you tomorrow. José Miguel, se me queda en la... En los 10 minutos, nos vemos. Sueñen nice. Bye. Ok, José, are you there? ¿Estás por ahí? Sí, aquí. Ok, okay. Coment comentarte que esto pasa súper, súper rápido. Ok, así uh -huh. que este, vamos a hacer una short interview. Vamos a hacer una pequeña entrevista, ok. Okay. Okay, so comenzamos. Uh, hello, Jose. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, what's your middle name? My middle name is uh, Miguel Lara. Miguel, okay, Miguel. That's your middle yeah. name. Okay, good. What's your last name? My last name is Lara Alvarado. Okay, perfect. Uh, how do you spell your last name? Last name is L A R A. Perfect. How old are you, Jose? I am uh, 29 years old. Good, that's perfect. And what's your occupation? My occupation is uh, architect. Okay, sounds good. And now tell me uh, one or two functions that you have at work. My function is uh, uh, supervising projects mm -hmm. and uh, uh, sent mails and a little, uh, how do you say this? Well, um, designs uh, furniture. Uh, ah, okay. Good. That's management. It management projects that um, construction and building building and design project and uh, just okay 
That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Kusumir, can you describe two relatives? Two family Relative. members? Yeah, yes, this, my mom is a beautiful person. Uh, she, she was uh, very uh, amable, no sé, no me acuerdo cómo se mm, Polite. Polite. Uh, it, it's very attention with me. And my sister, it's a, it's a, a told era alto. A told, yes. Um, it's a uh, hair, uh, black hair. Mm, black hair, okay. Um, it's a uh, chewy. Ah, chewy, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, now tell me, um, tell me about yourself. Cuéntame sobre ti, lo que tú quieras, okay? You can talk about favorites, uh, you can talk about likes, uh, pastimes, what you do in your free time or what you do during the week. You can talk about the routine, okay? Whatever you want to say, please. Okay, my favorite uh, pastime is, uh travel in the countries or uh, traveling you know, uh, tourists, tourists. Mm -hmm. and I like the music, electronic music. Okay. Um, uh, I, must, uh, um, I like uh, design uh, projects and uh, design también design eh, diseño gráfico no creo. graphic design graphic, graphic design yeah. and eh, I I like eh, a beer I like beer ah, okay good and eh, I want eh, I, eh, I I watch TV any any time Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, mm -hmm. Jose Miguel, um, and tell me, what time is it? It's at 10 o'clock. Okay, it's PM. 10. Okay, good. Now, uh, Marlon, uh, I'm sorry, Jose Miguel, uh, <laughs> could you describe a place you have visited? Maybe a place that you like or your, your enterprise? Mm -hmm. What? I, I don't understand. Okay. Describe a place. Describe un lugar. Un lugar. Mm -hmm. uh, my work is uh, very good. Mm -hmm. And the office is uh, comfortable. Okay. And I have a PC, a modern, a modern PC. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a car with, uh, I go to project. Uh, uh, um, and um, my mis compañeros, ¿cómo se compañeros? Partners, my, my partners or my, my colleagues. Partners, mm -hmm. Oh, my colleagues, my partners. Um, son the good persons. Okay, they're good person. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. And now this tell is my work. Okay, and and what's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is a uh, hamburger. Okay, good. And what about, um, do, you, do you like sports? What's your favorite sport? Yes, I play soccer. Mm -hmm. um, a veces, como se dice a veces. Sometimes. Ah, yes. Sometimes I play soccer. And then, just, just, uh, solo eso, como se dice? Right, that's, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's mm -hmm. it. Okay, uh, good. What about, um, what, do you have pets, animals at home? Yes, I have, I have a dog. Okay. It is a, a, a beagle. 
it's a little boy. Um, okay, okay. That's fine. And what about uh, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Um for from I from uh, San Salvador in 25 Street and Barrio San Miguelito. Okay, that's good. And what about um and what time do you work from seven to seven a.m. to five or from eight a.m. to four? What's your schedule? What's your hour? Uh, my my time is, is a work is seven a.m. Seven, seven a.m. Yes, I go to work every day. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Jose Miguel, we're finishing. Ya estamos terminando porque se nos fue el tiempo. Ahora como tú se pasa bastante rápido. Okay, yes. so I hope you to see. Well, I hope to see you tomorrow. Espero verte mañana porque hay que llenar una encuesta. ¿Oíste? No okay. es a faltar. Eh, la vamos a llenar de 8.40 a 9.20, me parece, o 9.10, ¿verdad? Así que por ah, cualquier wow. cosa en ese espacio necesito que estés pues ahí pendiente. Recuerda que la información, si la puedes tener a la mano, la que te llegó en el correo o la que te llegó en WhatsApp, uh -huh. esa la vamos a utilizar para que no se equivoquen en la encuesta, ¿ok? Va, ok, okay. ahí estamos. Nice, José. See you. Have a good night. Gracias. Goodbye. Vamos.